Hebrews say they always black. We say we talk to God. We won't never say he talking back. Lex Luger flexing from these reverence like they torture racks. I always say that people celebrate everything but the truth. Why would you continue to celebrate a story that has yet to be proven for 2,000 years? Why would you celebrate something that's basically a rumor. You're celebrating a rumor and calling it the good news because everything about what you're celebrating is he said, she said, that the Holy Spirit said, that God said. So you celebrate rumors. So ask yourself in real life, in real time, would you celebrate a rumor? Would you celebrate something in real life that had nothing to do with you? Would you celebrate in real life, in real life, something you was not present to witness? Something you didn't hear, something you didn't see, but something that you was told. Why do you choose to celebrate something that you have been told? But that's what people do for all holidays. They celebrate things are so-called holy days that they have been trained, they have been taught and conditioned to celebrate. Why do you celebrate rumors, the rumors of what Jesus did? If you were not there to see it yourself, you can't verify it. Jesus ain't never appeared. He ain't never showed up. He ain't never presented himself to you. But yet you choose to celebrate the rumor. Yet you choose to celebrate instead of questioning. You believe what you can show, or just believe from what you know. What make a book holy if God never wrote it? Imagine God was just misquoted. If God was.